Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about Power BI release April 2024 as part of Catch Up with Nax series. Without further delay, let's jump into today's topic. The features I like most in 2024 release is like new visuals that is 100% stacked area chart. That was a new visual introduced that people should know and the enhanced question and answers with copilot generated linguistic relationship i will talk about this dynamic subscriptions for power bi and page native reports now it will allow thousand users earlier it is restricted to 50 users uh, only can get this subscription dynamically right now it has been enhanced to thousand users that's what you should understand and introduction to copilot pane in power bi desktop so these are the features i like most i will try to explain it uh, in the video what are those and let's begin if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification and this channel contains uh, many free contents that covers power bi msbi and fundamentals of Azure as well. Use this phrase content and share this channel with your friends. So coming to our today's topic, Power BI April 2024 release. Um, they explained about the conference that happened the last month and it is very good. I have watched it. Uh, I personally want to be there, but due to other constraints, I'm not able to attend that. Most probably I will try to attend next year and uh, coming to here the actual contents new visual 100 percentage stack area chart and we will quickly see that uh, line chart as well but these two features i like so this visual is newly introduced to have a relative percentage of multiple data series in a stack areas where the total always equal 100 percentage so this is the new chart and line enhancement this is something uh, looking like a crazy uh, visual like earlier if you have uh, some drop or increase there will be uh, straight lines right now there will be a step uh, line over here you can try out with these options then enhance qa with copilot generated linguistic relationship this is uh, very important when you use AI or question and answer future where you need to define certain relationship. If you if I talk about this, you can see here for Q question and answer to work effectively, you need to set certain synonyms for the each field. What I'm trying to convey, let's say like um, you are using a products, right? instead of products you are saying uh, some other uh, meaning defining novel right novel as a product so if you ask for can you tell me which novel is sold most right it is like you need to define this is the product something like that this is the synonym you need to define because the power bi cannot understand your business context so this synonym will help so this is the one of the step you need to do and on top of that you also need to define the um, linguistic relationship this is what it is so what it means is like um, some terms and phrases can't be defined with a simple mapping to terms in you in your data model so whatever we see in using synonyms synonyms is something very similar products can be referred as novel our customers can be referred as a principal so there are different meanings you can match with the synonym but these relationship these terms which qualify other term or relate them together must be understood as part of a phrase basically um, it it gives a context right once you use it in the uh, sentence then only it gives a correct meaning in the phrase so that is what so they define this some example show me popular titles require qa to understand what a title is and what makes a title popular so these are the two context i mean um, they are related together 
to qualify other terms or relate them together so you see here show me popular titles so what is the title first it has to understand the qa that is the ai system and what made it popular so these are the some of the uh, questions that make you to understand uh, what it should do basically uh, show me popular titles uh, is like show me the top title or top uh, selling product something like that so these kind of things you need to define it in a relationship that will make you a more effective uh, way of uh, returning results this is what they also introduced so this is the future is in need for the ai era that is very good from the microsoft and the next future i like uh, the most is like um yay future on again let me go through that yeah over here basically right now they have introduced uh, the uh, copilot right in the desktop itself analytics introducing copilot pane in the power bi desktop for those who don't know what is a copilot is it's a ai module for uh, microsoft fabric and uh, you can have um, automatically create any reports or in case of power bi and this copilot can act as uh, some other um for power apps it can create automated uh, power apps as well so something like that so it's a ai module basically now what it can uh, enable in terms of power bi is like it can create a report page it can give you a summary of your semantic model and suggest a topic what kind of charts can be generated from your data set that is what it can help you you can see here for there are certain prerequisite for this you should have a fabric workspace and you should choose a fabric workspace very first time you are using a copilot so you once you do that then you can able to summarize your semantic model uh, that will give you a summary what it contains and as well as it can create a report for you it can create an entire page and please suggest me some of the reports for this model it will uh, suggest you you can use the, this kind of charts and differences all other steps so these are the um, things i like the most and i didn't show you this because it is just um, information from microsoft like instead of 1000 um, or 50 users you can able to use 100 i mean 1000 subscribers this is what it is dynamic subscription for power bi and page generated reports thousand recipients is allowed right now i hope um, you like this video if you like it hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset